our contestants will be playing for today on the wildest shopping game ever, Shop Till You Drop. Meet today's challengers on our first team. She's a fundraiser and he's a publicist. Please welcome Suzanne Stamey and Robert Wargo. And their opponents, he's a carpenter and she's a horse trainer. Please welcome John and Lori Perrin. And now here's the host of Shop Till You Drop. Everybody and hello to you at home. Welcome to our mall on Shop You Drop, and hello to our contestants here. As you know, everything we do today and every day has to do with things you'll find in a mall. Our teams are going to have a chance to play some stunts and answer some questions about shopping that'll earn them points. The team that ends the game with the most points will go on to our Shop Till You Drop round to try for that fantasy shopping spree. But for right now, in our first round, both teams will be playing stunts worth 100 points and a chance to go shopping in our Shop Till You Drop mall. Suzanne and Robert, you won the toss backstage. That means you're first. Ready? Yeah. Come on over here. <laughs> you stand right here. Let me tell you about it. You know, some husbands are such sports fanatics that they never stop playing, even to get dressed. Or at least that's the point in case in this next stunt called dribble and dress. Now, on this table, we have four pieces of sportswear from Good Sports, our sporting goods store. When I say go, all you have to do is, Robert, get dressed in these clothes. Now, if you can put on all four items in one minute, you win, right? Sounds easy enough? Okay, but there is one little complication here. You have to dribble this basketball, Robert, while you're getting dressed. If you stop dribbling or lose control of the ball, you lose the stunt. Now, you have a chance to pass or play the stunt. Would you like to pass or play? We're going to pass it. Pass you're going to pass, 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 pass the ball, pass over there. Gloria and John, step right out here. John, why don't you come on this side here so we can okay. see you at home. You can start dribbling the basketball. Why don't you take your shoes off? It'll be a little okay. easier also for you to uh, get the clothes on as you start them on with the sweatpants. Give me time on the clock as we're doing this. You play basketball? Not too much. Well, let's see how well you play right now. Minute on the clock. Here's your ball. Ready, set, and dribble. Jacket, move it onto this side. Other side, keep dribbling. Don't lose sight of that ball. Good for you. You got that off. Okay, go to the shoes next. You have to pull the pants back one set of shoes. Other side, get the other shoe. 24 seconds left. 24, hat on his head. Yeah, Congratulations, you completed the time. Good for you. Why don't you head right back up to the center of our marbles? Great job. All right. Not only do you look pretty good, but you just got yourself 100 points right. and a chance to go shopping in our mall. Now, don't forget, one of the stores in our mall has today's shopper special. If you pick that store, not only do you win a great prize, but we'll also have for you a mini spending spree. To where, Mark? Well, you'll be going to Palm Springs, California. A vacation at historic Ingleside Inn in Palm Springs. Wonderful dining in Melbourne featuring the finest continental cuisine and piano bar. An elegant vacation in Palm Springs from Ingleside Inn. Good luck on that. What store will you pick? Shutterbug. Shutterbug. That's our camera store. And for you right now from Shutterbug, our camera store, we have his and her cameras. Mark? That's right, Pat. The Vivitar 320Z compact autofocus his and her camera with built-in tower zoom lens. Beautiful 35-millimeter pictures from scenics to portraits from Vivitar. Retail value, $504. Good work. All right, Robert and Suzanne, you pass. That means it's now your turn. Come on over here. Let's just stand right here and let me tell you about what we have for you right now. This next step, we bought several products and we laid them out on a table behind this particular screen. Now, in a moment, Suzanne, you're going to go behind the screen, pick one of the products, and begin to describe it. Now, you can say anything about it except for its name. Now, Robert, when you think you know the name of the product she's describing, just call it out. If you're right, we'll go on to the next one. If you can't get it, you can pass and we'll go on to the next one. But you must get three out of five correctly in 45 seconds mm. to win. Understand? Mm -hmm. All right, Suzanne, why don't you get behind the table here? Robert, why don't you stand right here like this and listen carefully as she okay. starts to describe. 45 seconds on the clock. Ready, set, and go. Okay, it's something you play with. It's um, on a court. Um, there's a, a net. Ball? Yeah. Um, no, bracket. no, that's not it. Yes. Bracket. Yes, that's right. Okay, um, you, you cuddle this in bed. Teddy bear. Yes. That's true. You just need to um, um, You uh, use it uh, if you're checking things off. 
a uh, pencil, a lift, you have a pen attached to it. Uh, um, a it's street. wood, and you have a metal uh, a pen holder. thing attached to it. Um, you might want to pass, 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 pass. Okay, you find this in a garage, and you put um, uh, things in it that you would fix something else. A tool kit, tool um, chest, a toolbox. Yes. Yes, that's it. You're doing it. Congratulations. Very good. That's it for the center of the world. Good job. We had a tool, everything else, for boxing. You finally got it. Good for you. Congratulations. You got all three. That means you get 100 points and a chance to go shopping. What would you like to shop? Art Attack. Okay. Art Attack. Art Attack. Art Attack is our art store, and right now for you, we have a serigraph. Mark? Martin Lawrence Gallery's colorful limited edition serigraph, Morning Garden, by Susan Rio. It's numbered and hand-signed by the artist and is available at Martin Lawrence Galleries throughout the United States. Retail value, $1,675. Whoa! You guys are doing great. It's a tied score, and it's a chance to see more stunts and more fun right after this on Shop the Drop. Don't go away. Shop till you drop. Welcome back, everybody. Right now, it's a tied score, but a chance for someone to go ahead because 200 points are stunt right now. Lori and John, it's your turn to go first. Come on over here. Lori, why don't you stand right here? Listen carefully, guys, because you will have the opportunity to pass this stunt if you like. You know how each year fashion designers come up with a new fashion color like pumpkin or rust? Well, we've dressed eight members of our studio audience in designer terry cloth turbans. And don't they look good? So, and the special thing about these turbans is that each is a special designer color. Now, your job is to identify the color found on one of these signs by handing the sign to the audience member wearing the corresponding turban. You'll have one minute to match all eight models with eight colors. If you get six out of eight matches right, you'll win. Would you like to play or pass? Oh, we're going to play this one. You're going to play yeah. this one? All right. Give me one minute on the clock, please. We'll work our way down from the top okay. here. First one, ready, set, aluminum. Okay, go to that one. The next one is buttercup. Open up. Next one we have is corn flour. Okay, next, raw sienna. Raw sienna. Salmon is the next. There you go. 36 seconds. Sea phone next. Sea phone is next. Squash flower is the next color we have. Squash flower. Now we're here for that one. Can I give it somebody? And finally we have... This is wine. Oh no. Now you can mix and match. You have 15 seconds here. Do you want to change any of these? Do you want to change any of these? Okay, let's see. Time is up. Let's see how well you did here. We'll work our way down the line starting at this end. And if you want to come right over here next to me here, we'll, we, again, you need six out of eight to do it correctly. We'll start across the top here. You said this was squash flour. I actually think this is corn flour, so that's not correct. Drop your sign here, please. Next one you said was salmon, and that is salmon. Very good. Next one, you called that buttercup. It's not buttercup. That's actually the, uh, what is that? The, that's the, that is the squash flower. Okay, so drop your sign there. You need the rest of them right now in order to win the stunt. Raw Sienna on the end. That is Raw Sienna. Very good. Now across the bottom, you said that next one was sea foam. It is. This is wine. Very good. This is aluminum, but this is not corn flour. So you only got five out of eight. Sorry you didn't do it, but you guys look great, all right? Head on back. That's a tough one. Can't give you any points on that. We will move on, though. Suzanne and Robert, it's your turn. Ready? Great. All right, come on over here. <laughs> now, here's a question for you. You can come in a little closer here, Robert. When you guys were growing up, did you hate tasting vegetables because maybe they look so bad? Well, we solved that problem with our vegetable taste test. Now, on this table, under this cloth, we have hidden five different vegetables. When I say go, Robert, you're going to pick up one, hold it for Suzanne to take a bite. Now, Suzanne, you're going to taste the vegetable, and by taste alone, you're going to identify it. When you think you know what it is, call out its name, and it'll go on to the next one. If you get stuck, you can pass, and we'll go on. If you get three out of five correct in 45 seconds, you'll win. 
You understand? Okay. We do have two little rules for you. First of all, Suzanne, no big deal. We're actually just going to blindfold you, okay? <laughs> and Mark, why don't you come in here with the blindfold instead of put it on? Uh, that's so you can't see the vegetables. And second, we want you guys to hold hands. That means, Robert, you won't be able to use your hands to pick up the vegetables. You actually have to use your teeth, okay? <laughs> to put that on. Mark, help us with the blindfold here. As you put that on, we'll move you into position here. Come back into this direction. I all right. Out of all right. There we go. Very good, Mark. All right. You stand right here. Now, you guys hold hands. This is my hand. This is your friend's hand. You got that? Okay. Very good. Let me take the cloth off here. Robert, you get to look. Suzanne, you can't see, I presume. All right. Good luck to you guys. 45 seconds on the clock. Why don't you work your way from this end? Ready, set, and go. First one. Take a bite. Cauliflower? No, that's Just not it. Probably. Yes, that's right. What? <laughs> Very good. You got a salad and you got yourself 200 points. Excellent job. Now here's your chance to go shopping at our mall. What store would you like to pick? Furniture. 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 Von Schiff and Decker's Furniture Store. And that means we have a dining room set for you. Mark? Bassett's Country Living Dining Room Set with its attractive two-tone finish is practical and durable. Included in this versatile ensemble is the sideboard base and hutch. Rectangular table and four ladder back chairs from Bassett. Retail value, $2,610. Okay, at the end of our stunt round, Suzanne and Robert are in the lead. Lori and John, you'll get a chance to catch up next because next it's the Shopper's Challenge Round. We won't want to miss that one, I promise. Shopping drop, Lori and John are saying good. They get a chance to catch up in our Shoppers Challenge round. Right now, we're going to test your knowledge about shopping. I'm going to ask you a series of rapid-fire questions. And ladies, we're going to start with you. As soon as you think you know the answer, press down on your lockout. I'll call out your name. If you're right, we'll add 50 points to your score. If you're wrong, your opponent gets a free shot at answering a question. And after you answer a question, switch places with your partner because now it's his turn. We go on like that for a minute 30 seconds. Then the team with the most points at the end of this round will go on to shop till they drop. Okay? <laughs> All right, give me a minute 30 seconds on the clock. Ladies, get into position here. Good luck to both teams. Ready, set, and what bicycle seat is named after a tropical fruit? Yes, Lori. Banana. Banana seat's right. Golf great Arnold Palmer offers his line of clothing at which national department store? Robert. J.C. Penney. That's wrong. John. Don't know. Sears. Next one. Everlast is known for making trucks and gloves for what sport? Yes, Suzanne. Golf. No. Uh, boxing. That's correct. What is the name of the knitted pattern of multicolored diamonds used in socks and sweaters? Yes, John. Argyle. That's correct. What brand of shoes has a Bassett count as their emblem? Three seconds. Yes, Suzanne. Um, hush puppy. That's correct. What do you call dried fruit, flowers, and spices used to scent the air? Yes, Robert. Potpourri. That's right. What is the name of the kitchen tool used to shave bits of citrus peel? Yes, Lori. Peeler. No, Suzanne. Um... Uh, greater. No, it's a zester. What woman's hair product has a spring clasp and holds her hair firmly? John. Curler. No, Robert. Lil. No, Barrettes. Crayola does not make which of the following? Chalk, watercolors, or tape? tape? Yes, Lori, that's correct. On a video cassette, what does EP stand for? Yes, John. Elongated play? N no. Extended play. Right, Robert. Before going solo, the singer Sting belonged to which band? <laughs> Three seconds. Yes, Suzanne. Um, police. That's correct. Oh. What automobile company's name means three diamonds in Japanese? Yes, John. Mitsubishi. That's correct. Diamonds are crystals made up almost entirely of one of the following. Carbon, iron. Oh. Yes, Lori. Oh. And it looks like Robert and Suzanne will shut the around. Congratulations. We have to say goodbye to you guys. Thanks for being on our show. We had a lot of fun with you. Thank you very much. For you two, congratulations. You're going to shop the drop, and you get to watch the stay right there as Shop the Drop continues after this. And now, back to our host, Pat Finn. My favorite part of the show because this is where we get to see if we can give you a shopping trip of your dreams, and all you have to do is spend $1,000 in a minute and a half. 
Okay? Okay. Now, I need one to be the buyer, the other the exchanger. I'm the buyer. Okay, Robert, you're the buyer. That means in a moment, I'll say go. You'll look inside the first of our six boxes here. Together, you two decide if you're going to keep the item or exchange it. If you're going to keep it, Suzanne, run it over to our prize table and then hit that bell. When you do, Robert, that's your cue to open up the next lid. On the next item, if you decide to exchange it, just take that box to any store in our mall, Suzanne, put it there, take the box from the store, and again, bring it over to the prize table. Now, we'll add up the retail value of all the prizes over there, and if, added, if it adds up to $1,000 or more, not only do you get to keep all those great prizes, but you win the shopping trip of a lifetime. To where, Mark? Well, get ready, because you're going to shop till you drop in New York City. Oh. You'll stay at New York's Lexington Hotel, located in the hub of Manhattan's corporate empire, perfect for business and pleasure travelers. Welcome to the quiet elegance and exclusive quarter of the Hotel Lexington. Good for you. Now, here's one last hint. Uh, one of our stores in our Shop to You Drop Mall has a prize worth over $500. If you can get that one, you're well on your way to winning that trip, all right? Some great prizes out there. Why don't you step into place here, Susan? Okay. Oh, Robert, actually step into place here. Give me a minute, 30 seconds on the clock. You get ready to run. Ready, set, and go! Uh, uh, keep her shaved. Keep her shaved. Her facial gift. He said to change it. She's running to heart attack. Putting it on the table and hitting the bell. Next one. Sandals, exchange it. He says sandals. Two flip flops I see inside the box there. Be careful, Suzanne. Put it on the table. Give the Mark Wahlberg there. Hit the bell. Next one we have. Keep it on the table. Change it. He says it changes. Some jewelry in there. She's going to go to Decorator Showcase, our home furniture store. Hit the bell. You got to hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. You got to 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Change it. Slippers in there. She's going to exchange it. Going to need to move quickly. Von Schiff and Decker's furniture. Over to the table. Hit the bell. Two to go. Good job. Good job. Thank you for your help there, Mark Wahlberg. All right, step right over here. Step right up to our table here, and let's first of all talk about the items you decided to keep. Then we'll go down the ones you decided to exchange. And remember, if the retail value is $1,000 or more, we're going to send you to New York City. All right? First one you saw, it was something electronic. It says a doorman on there. Now, tell me exactly what does that mean, Mark Wahlberg? Well, it's the Telebell CS2200 telephonic door answering system. Now you can use any touchstone phone to see who's knocking at the door from across the street or across the country from Telebell products. Good choice to keep this one, by the way, because retail value is $300. Good start. That means you just have $700 left to spend so that you can make your way to New York City. Next one from Harry's House of Music, the last one you decided to exchange downstairs. And, uh, <laughs> well, this is, looks pretty interesting. How interesting is it, Mark? Well, it's pretty interesting. Replace those tired old strings with these shiny new ones. No guitar? Bring up a cigar box. Or your tennis racket. Or that noisy neighbor. Pat? <laughs> well, the retail value on our strings, by the way, is $4. Mmm, not so good. So that means you now have $696 left to spend, and we got to see if we can make it add up to $1,000 so we can get you to New York City. What do we work our way around? I'm actually curious on what's inside the big box, so why don't you come on down to this end of the table. We'll take it off the table. It comes to us from the Art Attack, which of course is our art store, and sometimes we get some great things from there, and sometimes we get some prints from there. Not so great prints. Th but this looks like something oh. pretty great. Mark, tell me about it. From Scott Arts Graphics, Happy Birthday Hollywood, a captivating limited edition lithograph numbered and hand signed by renowned primitive artist Jane Luther Scott from Scott Arts Graphics. Very beautiful and rather expensive, $250. Okay, $446 left to spend to get you guys to New York City. Circuit Center is the next box here. It's our electronic store. Ooh, and I like this. Take a look at this. What a great-looking radio. It's modeled after the old-fashioned radios. Is this one of those you see in the Sharper Image catalog here, Mark? 
Well, I think so, Pat. Master of the Airwaves with this stylish multiband radio, AM, FM, plus two shortwave bands, emergency and aviation channels from the Sharper Image. This is absolutely perfect. You guys are world travelers. Now you can listen to the foreign countries you've been to, all right? Retail value on this is $129. Okay. $317 left to spend. We'll go to Decorator Showcase, our home furnishing store, next and see if we can get you to $317 so you guys can get to New York City. Next up, you, you actually get this. You don't just get the picture. You get the lamp. What kind of lamp, Mark? From Al's side, this distinctive Orleans floor lamp features a decorative font with brass accents and antique shaft. From Al's side. Retail value of this is $250. We're down to $67 at this point. The last one is Von Schiffendecker's Our Furniture Store. Could be just little roller casters oh, for the bottom of furniture, or it could be something rather big. Again, you get to keep all of this. You get the artwork you had earlier, the dining room set, valued at well over $1,000 on those items. So you get something very great here. You get to keep it all. But again, this has to be $67 at least. Okay, Mark, is this worth $67? Tell me about it. Well, Best Star's Daytona One car bed. Non-toxic materials and rounded finishes built to withstand rough and tumble play power. The race for bedtime is on from Best Star. Well, we need it to be at $67, and it's actually $4.99! For more of this kind of fun. Thank you so much for being with us this time around on Shop 2 Drop. Bye bye. Some contestants on Shop 2 Drop may receive Y Wade Weeks for eyeglasses, Lenscrafters in store labs, custom craft top quality glasses in about an hour. Lenscrafters, Louisiana specially blended for iced tea. That's why people who like iced tea love Louisiana. Available in regular or decaf. Nakano seasoned rice vinegar, ready to use dressing. No oil, cholesterol, or fat. A healthy dressing for the 90s from Nakano. An assortment of nail care products, including the natural manicure from Jonelle. Give yourself a French manicure the American way. A fresh and natural nail look for the 90s from Jonelle. Delicious Cremora Light with 70% less saturated fat than Coffee Mate. No tropical oils and no cholesterol. Hershey's syrup on ice cream is a favorite summertime treat. And look for the full line of Hershey's toppings for that great Hershey taste on ice cream. Production.